Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we're gonna look at this thing oh yeah this thing it's one of my most popular videos and uh, I didn't really get to program this but uh, now I kind of took the time to read the manual it's just one sheet of paper so and uh, I really wanted to program this and show you how to do this and make another video that goes a bit further into details about this nice Honeywell Rotostat um, HR20 and funny enough there's a lot of German people that has watched that video and uh, I weiß nicht warum, aber thank you and Dankeschön to my German viewers. Uh, <laughs> but let's program this and see how it works. Okay, and to, um, to start with, we'll do a factory reset on this device. And what you do, you turn, off, turn around these clamps and the end comes off, bridge, like this. And you can just switch off the batteries in here. With this iron thing, you remove it from the batteries and it's, it's off. And to factory, uh, make it go back to the factory default, you press the three buttons all at once and you put it back on power. And it will power back up and tell you the date. Actually, this is not the date, it's the firmware version. Here is the year. And to approve that, we press the program, and this is the date. And the date is OK. And the time is actually also OK. It does remember some things, but this is the default programming of the thing. And now it realizes that we are... Um, we are not on the radiator and it really wants that, so um, I think we can just press the programming here. Yeah, and we have to program the, all the days. Um, you can like program. You should be able to program 1 to 7. I'm not sure if this works. Let's give it a try. From day one to day seven, and we'll just press the program. Right, program. And before you start programming, you really need to know what to program. What do you? When do you want heat in this thermostat? And in what room is it? And so on and so on. And this thermostat. I took out of my bedroom and in my bedroom I really don't need heat all day I just need heat at the, in the morning when I have to get up it's nice to get out of bed and the, and it's not too cold and again in the evening when you have to go into bed it's also nice that the bedroom is not ice cold so I kind of made a drawing of what I want in the morning, up here, I would like the radiator uh, to be uh, heated up at 6 o'clock in the morning and turn off again at 8 o'clock. And again in the evening, I would like the radiator to heat up at 22 o'clock and turn off again at 23 o'clock. And it, it looks kind of like this. I want the lower temperature to be 16 degrees Celsius and the high temperature to be 19 degrees. It's not much of a difference, but it's it's a little. And every day it, it goes up and down uh, twice a day. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And here in the weekend it's a bit different because uh, on Friday I usually go up to my playhouse, right? So, I don't need heat in my uh, bedroom all weekend, except on Sunday when I get when I get home. 
I would like it to heat up at night. So this is what I'm gonna program into the Honeywell thermostat. So let's try that. Oh, it's ready to go on the radiator again. And can we see this? We can. So, program. And six o'clock in the morning. That's okay. So that's okay, program. And then we turn it down to eight. Eight. There. And then we have the option of turning it on and off at another time. So we're gonna put it to 22. There we are. And turn it off again at 23. Now you can see the rep. The it, it shows you. Oh, ah. It sh it shows you up here when when the radiator is going to be heated. It's it's just a little in the morning and a little in the evening and this is like the, the the clock over one day i'm just gonna plug it it keeps showing e2 that's because it it has noticed that this thing is not on so we'll put this on and hopefully it will be quiet there we are And we'll go into the programming and see if, if this is true for all the days. So let's see. How does... Let's just see how Monday looks like. And it did not work. It seems like I have to program this for every day. That was... That's kind of irritating. But I think we can do this really quick. Monday, 6 o'clock and down to eight. eight and then 10 o'clock and 22 o'clock and this is Tuesday Friday is a bit different because it only has to turn on and off once. So, program Friday. Six is good. And then down to eight. And we don't have to and then uh, Saturday and if we just program both of the times on and off to the same time it won't turn on so if I say OK to 6 and then turn this down to 6 as well there we are And then we have the Sunday, where it only has to turn off at night. So it doesn't have to turn on at 6, but it has to turn off at 22. And turn off again at 23. So now this thermostat is programmed for the for the turn off and turn on. Now we need to program the the temperatures from which it switches between. Um, 
and I want 16 degrees and 19 degrees. And uh, by default, this thing has 16 degrees and 21 degrees. Um, I actually use this in the living room and in the kitchen, but in the bedroom, I I can live with with less than nine, less than 21 degrees. Actually, I I prefer it a bit colder than that. Um, so this temperature will turn down a bit there just turn the wheel if you haven't seen that and approve that and the night temperature is good so we approve that and now the all the features are actually programmed now it's it's ready to go on the radiator and do my weekly program but let's let's look at some of the other features this, that this can do Okay, so we programmed this, but sometimes this is not how your week looks like. And actually, when when I am on vacation, I go to my playhouse, and uh, I don't I don't want it to turn on and off like this when I'm not here. And it's very easy to change that. So like uh, now I tempered with it, but. Let's see, 16 degrees. Right now, at this time of hour, it's it's at 16 degrees, and it's supposed to be that because the the, the time is just after seven o'clock at night, and it's it's first supposed to turn up turn up at 22 uh, hours at night. So right now it's 16 degrees, but let's say that I'm going on vacation and I want it to stay on 16 degrees or even lower and everything all I have to do is press the this auto manual button and if I do that it's manual and I can just turn the temperature to whatever I want 10 degrees perfect it will keep to 10 degrees until I change this back no problem um, so when I get back I press it and it's Back on its regular schedule. Let's say that I'm actually gonna clean up in the bedroom. Rarely ever happens, but let's just say <laughs> um, I can just turn it up. Say I want it to be 22 degrees right now. And when I do it this way, and it's still on auto, when it actually gets to the next time that it's going to change. Uh, it changes back and then it's on the schedule again so at, at 22 hours tonight it will change the temperature down to 19 degrees again and at 23 hours it will change it back to 16 degrees again so it's very easy to to change the temperature if the program is not really what you need right now the Honeywell ro Rotostat thermostat, it has a, a frost protection as well. Um, even though the, the, the thermostat m might be off, if the temperature gets below uh, 4 degrees, uh, it will turn on. Which, I don't know how, how far on, but it will turn on until the temperature is back over six degrees again so it will it will keep the the system free of frost um, and it will do this even if if it's set to off uh, it's it doesn't matter what mode it's in uh, it will keep the house free of frost. another thing that is very uh, easy and likely to to happen with a thing like this is you program this really neatly this is in my bedroom and people are not really they don't get in there but in the kitchen and in the living room and places like that it's very easy to touch this and the temperature will be totally off right and suddenly it's 30 degrees in the living room and that's kind of irritating and if there's kids around they they might think this is very funny to play with so and you can go around and f 
fix your thermostat all the time. Actually, you only have to press this button twice and it's back on schedule, but that might be irritating uh, for somehow, but it has a child protection system, like you can lock it down. If you press these two buttons at the same time for three seconds, it's blocked. So whatever happens now, it will just show you that this thing is blocked and you're not able to do anything. And after a few seconds, it will show you the programming again. And um, of course, to get out again, you have to press these for three seconds. There we are, we are back. Another thing that you might want on your thermostat is uh, we usually only need heat during the winter. So at, uh, in the summer, we probably just want the thermostat to switch off or do nothing. And this is possible as well. Um, and it's actually pretty easy. Um, let's say that it depends on your system. Um, here at my apartment, I got the uh, like central heating, like I get uh, the water from the from the power plant and that heats the radiator. So at summer, I want this to shut off. Otherwise the radiator will be hot all, all summer. Um, but up at my playhouse, I have my own central heating, like this, the wood stove in the basement. And that's kind of different because when I don't need heat, I'll just not fire up the wood stove. And for that, this thermostat has two settings because here in, in my apartment, I don't, I don't want the water to run through here all summer, but at my playhouse, I actually want that because it's kind of a safety precaution. So the, the radiator and the stove and things like that is not able to, to get overpressurized. I think that's why, but let's, let's see how you do that. If you want to turn it off, you go down to manual and you just turn it all the way to the left, I think that is, and it turns off, off. If you want to turn it on all the way, just go the other way and it's just on. So this is the way to have it at my playhouse and the other way is the way to have it here at my apartment. Um, it will still go through some cycles. Um, it, it actually on specific times it it moves this thing f uh, forth and back to uh, to keep the, the radiator thermostat alive so that it don't get stuck and it will still do that. And it's really a good thermostat. The batteries last for years. I think I've changed the batteries in this once and I have had it for five years. So that's pretty good. If you want a thermostat that can do even more, uh, try and watch my video number 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 23 on the techno line TM3010 that's a thermostat that can do even a bit more and I bought mine from Germany so to all my German viewers it's right around the corner somewhere and that's also a really good thermostat that can do it can do a bit more than this thermostat so that's really neat and the manual that comes with the Honeywell, it's, it's pretty good. And um, it only takes a few 10, 15 minutes to read it through and see all the features that it can do. It, it takes a, more, a bit more time to mingle with all the menus and check if the programming is really doing what you told it to. But, um, well, that's good. I think this is all I can say about this 
nice thermostat from Honeywell. Um, it's really cool and get yourself one and play with it and you might be able to save uh, a lot of money on your heating because there's really no reason to, to heat your house in rooms when you're not there. So um, you can turn down the heat. You should not turn it off entirely because there's a lot of heat waste if some rooms in the house is without heat and others are with heat. And But you can turn it down um, some degrees. The normal temperature to turn between is 16 degrees and 21 degrees. So that's like a five degrees change that you can do um, and I find it very good and I have days where I know I'm not at a specific place so there's really no reason to heat up the, the rooms to the high temperature when I'm not there. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, do subscribe to my channel and give it the thumbs up please and um, you will see me again. Have a nice day. Bye bye.